What's up, guys? It's the Threes and Men here, back on episode 7 or 8. I don't know what episode it is. It feels like it's been a minute, fellas. Um, it's hard to keep a straight face because Zane showed us something. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, I was actually crying. This oh my There's a clip I from tears in my eyes. There's a clip from Elmo that my dad had talked about. And Elmo has like two glasses of milk and one is like a little bit more full than the other. So he yeah. drinks from one because he's trying to split it with someone. He drinks from one to try mm-hmm. to even it out and he drinks too much. So he drinks from the other and he drinks too much <laughs> over and over. That was that was me today, because I shaved it a little too far on this side. And then I try to like even it out. And I kept going, and I was like, oh. Oh. <laughs> you, could, you could see so it from I the tried. front, too. Why don't you explain no, to the audience what we were talking about? Straight face. Oh, I think you can tell. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> if I went into the box shop and got this, I'd smack him. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, Zane was shaving, he was trimming up his beard, and he shaved it too high up on his jawline. So... <laughs> <laughs> See, it's like a little bald spot on his jawline, and the rest is just beard. No, nah, like the audio listeners, you just have to watch the actual video because this audio guy audio. looks like a naked mole rat right now. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not slender. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it. This is how I wanted to do it, actually. Like a zebra. Remember, this is a podcast, not a vlog. What's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> Is he gonna go shave? <laughs> what is this, bro? Dude, we roasted him so hard, he shaved it off. So, we start off the pod roasting Zane's beard, and it got so bad that he had to shave it off during the this podcast. Is <laughs> it's like when they say like you get fat shamed till you're fit. Um, we just did that with his beard. True. So, oh, I think this is a positive thing. <laughs> that, that's actually hella cool, dude. Your mustache. That's actually bothered, dude. I'm saying he should keep it. it. Actually, looks nice. That clip is gonna be hey. so funny, dude. <laughs> it's gonna be so funny. <laughs> All right. All right. Anyways, so let's, let's act like the past four minutes never happened, and welcome yeah. back to episode eight of the pod. Pretty sure, All right? We got a lot to talk about. I don't yeah. really know what, but well, but Paulo does. Uh, yeah, you already know I do. Um, me and Zane were actually just discussing the ginormous crypto crash, and uh, Jonathan is seventy-five percent down on his sushi coin investment. As of now, I think, uh, basically what happened is <clears throat> I'm looking at the Bitcoin chart right now. It's down 7% on the day, which is pretty substantial for Bitcoin, considering how stable it's supposed to be. And if you don't know a lot about crypto, basically when Bitcoin is up or down, all of the other coins follow in its path. Like it's very rare for a single coin to act differently than Bitcoin. Um, And so the fact that Bitcoin's down that much is causing coins to be down 25, 35, crazy amounts of percentage. Um, My favorite crypto is down 32% today. And I wouldn't be lying if I didn't say I wanted to get in. Yeah. By the dip. You know, (laughs) you guys hear about what happened to Gunna? What happened? He got arrested for racketeering. <laughs> what? It's racketeering. Uh, I don't know, but um, he got arrested for it. <laughs> I think it's... Same charge as 6 9 got arrested for. Gang-affiliated activity. Like, <laughs> it's like illegal activity, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so gang activity. Yeah, it was acting uh, sauce for sure. raps about killing people anyways, but we love Gunna. He's a shooter for sure. Oh, yes. guess what, guys? 
What? So for the people that don't know, I have Invisalign. It's like better braces, right? Call them dentures. Yeah. So I was on set 18 of 18, and I went to the doctor or dentist, and my teeth still need work. So I have to do Invisalign even longer. I don't know how much longer, but they're ordering like these Ooh. correction sets. So they're going to be like these, but like more tight. So it gets like fixed faster. So pretty soon. Dang. Um, I was going to say your mom joke, but in case Paul makes uh, some sense of that. You said it. Anyway, cut that out. Cut that out. Edit that out. Edit that out. Dude, that actually reminds me. Yesterday at at work, there was like a cup of like Pepsi, and there was like an Invisalign in it. I don't think it was Pepsi. It was like it was like a cup of like yellow water, and I swear there was an Invisalign in it. And my this coworker named Houston, he just grabbed the cup and threw it in the garbage, and I was like. Bro, somebody's Invisalign was in that. He's he was like he was like laughing because he thought I was kidding. I was like, dude, I'm being serious. Like there was legit Invisalign in that cup. He's like, wait, are you for real? I just saw every ounce of like energy get sucked out of his face, like his heart drop, and he started rummaging through the trash and he couldn't find it. And we just found like a cube of ice. He's like, I'm just gonna say that it was a cube of ice, and then we just got out of there. We just dipped out. What so, do you mean, dipped out? How much are they? Job. <laughs> How much are they? Uh, my treatment. Well, insurance covered all of it. It's like forty five hundred, bro. For how about like one pair of Invisalign, like one set? It depends on how bad his teeth are. So I could tell you how much. Well, let me do some. Let me do some quick math real quick. Okay. It was the end of the shift, my, so we just my, dipped out. That was two hundred and fifty dollars. If you took it based off mine. Would you share Invisalign with us? Like we could <laughs> rotate. Uh, use the same uh, piece. I, mean, I don't think your teeth are as messed up as mine. Mine are, but it's Look. only cosmetic, they said. Like, you see that? There's still a gap. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I used to have a big gap right here, and look, it's almost gone. His teeth oh. gapped sideways. The crypto market. The gaps are pretty cute, though. <clears throat> yeah, you can fit quarters in them. You're like a little vending <laughs> machine. A little vending machine? <laughs> I don't want to hear if you, little pedo if Jonathan was a vending machine and you gave him a quarter, what would he do? I'd spit it back out. <clears throat> he would start change. busting down and twerking. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'd emo. Oh my god. Liberty, you guys if you're that? watching this, uh, I was kidding. I never said the things I've said. Oh yeah, that's true. Liberty, you guys know that thing where you like walk out of a room and you like twerk your butt? Like you, like you twerk. <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about. Like you thrust demonstrate. your hips backwards. Demonstrate. Demonstrate. I don't think. I don't think. Uh, the camera. Hold on. Audio <laughs> listeners, I would highly recommend you watch the video episode of this podcast. So Press it down, basically, Paul. you like walk backwards and you do like. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. So this is what we would do. This is what we do. We would be like, all right, like we'd be working in a room, right? We'd be like, all right, I'm gonna head out. And we'd just walk away from them and be like, <laughs> what? <laughs> dude, it's so dumb, but it's so funny, dude. Bro, like, you, you told it's a weird, bro. Dude, oh, it's God. so funny. We would like be like, all right, I'm gonna head out. And we just start doing the hip thrust thing as we walk out. Oh. <laughs> My manager saw it. What? I'll never forget. I know, like, Zane got on to me once for speeding a little bit when I was with him driving in Florida, right? Yeah. And for, if you don't live in Florida, for people that are listening, like, in Florida, pretty much you can break every traffic law known to man, especially, like, speeding, right? So yeah. when me and Paula were in Vegas, we're trying to get seats to see UFC 272's, like, weigh-ins, right? There is a clear red light. You can either turn left or right, okay? Paulo's in the right lane to turn. The right is the light is bright red. He cuts over like, <laughs> and then the security guard is just like, <laughs> yeah. As two teenagers in a Honda CRV skirt across four lanes of traffic, and he's like, I was like, 
Paulo, what did you see? He's like, what? I was like, did you not see the red light? And he's like, bro, there's a red light? Oh my god. And this Dude, kid, I just kid they're like... Dude, I just zone out a lot when I drive. It's not good. Actually, yeah, it's not good facts. at all. I zone out too. <laughs> and then me and Jonathan almost drive. died. We almost died on the freeway in Vegas. We were driving like back to the hotel. It was like 12.30 a.m. or something. And uh, we were driving. And all of a sudden, I just see this flash in the corner of my right eye. And I was already turning over. And I just see a <laughs> It was so fast. He was going like 120 miles an hour. Oh, it was like a little black yacht or something. It was such it a was tiny crazy. bubble. Crazy. I was turning I right. And... Yeah. It was crazy. It, like we missed him by like, like probably an inch or something like that. It was really close. And then yeah. I was like, "Bro, we almost just died." And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "You didn't I was care." So You're tired. so tired. Yeah. I was You're like, so "That's tired. weird." We we're trying to go to Hooters oh, that night. Oh, um, people of the pod. So as you know, we're gonna meet up next month, oh, the yeah. Three Zen Men, and we're also trying to plan to meet up in July in Las Vegas, Nevada. Maybe we can do a camping vlog with our five oh, subscribers. Yeah, I'm actually down. Tour up with some homeless Wait, people. Can't you hunt coyotes in Utah and yeah. get money for it? We should yeah. go on out in the desert. We actually should. That. That'd be we so actually fun. should. Dude, you just repay your entire plane ticket in coyotes. Imagine. How much money do they give you? Fifty like a head. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> you guys are right about you're grinding in we the desert actually, every yeah, day. If you want, if your parents are fine, we could stay for like half the time instead of your house. We could go live in the wild. Dude, yeah, they don't care. <laughs> and go hunt for coyotes. Dude, Red Dead Redemption in real life. That'd be yeah. so sick, dude. And then we can vlog. I'll pan the camera, and Zane's running as like five coyotes are chasing him down. <laughs> That'd be really fun. We could actually do that. We can do we can so go much... out west to the mountains on the Nevada and Utah border. <clears throat> There's tons of elk there, and tons of wildlife, and we can go out there and start hunting. If you One guys thing, want. That'll be so fun too. Like, and we get to see Zane run. People that never seen Zane run, because Zane is like. He's a short man. He's a short king, right? Uh, and so he has okay. a lot of weight on his rear. So when he runs, Brooke goes like... It, it, it'd be jiggling, bro. I'm keeping it 100 with you right now, bro. <laughs> but me and him race, I almost wanted to stop, let him pass so I can get like a... But, no. This is the sussest pod ever. Yeah, I actually... started twerking. Let me let my dog in real quick. This pod's all over the place, but it's fine. We're just it's enjoying fun. it this time. You know, sometimes people need a break, you know? Times are a little rough. Whoa! Yes. We for real, though, gotta start, like, prepping, though. But people are one or two viewers that listen. Comment some things you want to see when we actually meet up. Mm -hmm. Um, We can do tutorials on how to get a girl's Snapchat. It's pretty easy. Like, it, it is so easy. Right, guys? Yeah, yeah. Yo, I have a really good idea. And I want, like, if you're one of the two listeners that listen to this, if you like this idea, then comment and let me know. But I think <clears throat> we should have a Chad Olympics. And basically, <laughs> what you have to do is you get 10 tries to get a girl's number in public. And the person that has the highest percentage win rate wins the Chad Olympics. <laughs> and they get a prize. What do you guys think? What's the prize? I don't know. We could decide that. No, right but now. we should do it where we all use the same exact line. Oh, uh, no. It's, it's all about delivery? Olympics. Yeah. No. You gotta... I think it all has to be, like, organic. Like, you have to do your strat. <laughs> I'm literally gonna go up to every girl. Please. Please. Please <laughs> give me your phone number. I'm Please. It's all fun games. Who's so. most likely to have a zero percent success rate? <laughs> it's all fun games to have a higher success rate. So yeah, I'm for real. Just yet. No, I um, probably would chicken out, keeping it real. You wouldn't even oh, do it for the Chad Olympics. 
It depends what's on the line, bro. If it's for canes, probably not keeping the hundred. If it's for what? If it, because like the bet you and I made for canes was like I knew I was gonna win that bet. Oh. But like, okay. Oh. You just called you loser okay. in the Olympics. Um, basically, <laughs> these two uh. made a bet that Paulo would get a date. I think by the end of a week, and Paulo wasn't able to mm -hmm. acquire it. So. Probably needs to the bed. <clears throat> Jonathan okay, was called Shakespeare? a loser. No, it's okay. I only talk to no girls, but actually, never mind. Jonathan talks to men. Actually. Yeah, that's true. It's easier. <laughs> I'm old gym now. Unfortunately. What are you gonna say, Jonathan? No, followed two baddies on the gram. They followed me back. Oh, you did? I think they want you. I think they actually want to marry you, actually. Hundred, hundred, actually, I'm thinking we can have our kids already. I'm thinking my son's name's going to be Alto, and my daughter's name's going to be, like, Humphrey, you know? Humphrey? So you the question. Ask for the proposal. Oh, the pandemic uh, marriage? Now, you see, I want to plan our honeymoon first in, like, Malibu or something like that, and then as... You guys will see. I don't vlog. Okay. I'll vlog again. Okay. You'll vlog the whole thing. My coworker yeah. is getting married. He got married yesterday. He's 20, bro. He's 20. And he got married. Damn, what a loser. That's how people are in Utah. Wait, Zane, when did your parents get married? Uh, 2002. How old were they? <laughs> yeah, how old were they? I'm trying to think. <laughs> For legal reasons, I cannot disclose. <laughs> my mom was 24, and my dad was oh. 24. Oh, okay. My dad oh. got married at 16, okay. though. 16? No, I mean, yeah. back then. That's pretty... pretty Jesus. Normal. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, you know. I want to know something. I was thinking about this. If you went back in history, who would be, like, the chillest hang? Like, which historical figure could you just, like, vibe out with? Like, you could gritty all over the streets. You could listen to Gunna. Wh which historical figure would be the chillest thing? Probably Abraham Lincoln, bro. I keep it in the honey. No. He seems like such a chill dude, bro. Like, you know the reason why he grew up his beard was because some 12-year-old girl asked him, uh, he like he never uh, had a beard. Yeah, but... it was, it's in my history book. This girl's like, "Can you grow a beard?" He's like, "Yeah, sure," and she grew it out. Yeah, but he probably didn't shave the jawline like me. So, <laughs> who's the real winner? Yeah, who's the real winner? Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'd be like hanging out with your parents. Kind of. Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, he seems like the stuck up dude. You know what I mean, Chad? He was like a wrestler, though, right? What talking about. Lincoln? Was he a wrestler? Yeah. No, bro. He's he a... would like... He was hard to core, bro. You know, I we learned about this. And uh, when he was like 13... Because, you know, they didn't have like... They barely had trains and stuff back then. Because I was all on the East Coast. They would send him to sell like logs down the Mississippi uh, River. And he would walk from New Orleans all the way back to his house. It would take him like six months by himself at 13. Good lord. Alright, that's hella sick, my yeah, dude. But... Dude, we built the same. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, I, I walk I walk six miles all the time. I'm I mean, at six months. <laughs> I walk one and a half miles to go to the gym. You know, that's pretty hard. It's a dude struggle. That's actually crazy. I know. Good oh, lord. Oh, you know who's at... Okay, you know, I think, I think it was Thomas go. Jefferson... No, Andrew Jackson... You know, like, that dude's, like, straight up McDuggan, bro. You know why? Why? He, like, openly killed five people in a duel. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson? No, Andrew Jackson. Oh, Andrew Jackson? Yeah. Was that, like, like, the king of slavery? <laughs> that was Jefferson, wasn't it? Andrew Jackson was. <laughs> what? I'm pretty sure he's a confederate dude. <laughs> we got Jonathan praising this guy. No, put I'm that, just saying. That? I just, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm getting my history notebook. Wait, 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 wait. I'm no, getting, I'm getting okay. my history well, notebook. Is, why did you get notes out? Uh, I probably played no, he think he is. Patra. Because I've heard that she... Oh. You know she's ugly as hell? Uh, probably not. That's count. Uh, I heard she was pretty ugly. Yeah. Keep did it, you see her, you. Jonathan? Yeah, did yeah, somebody I did, tell yeah, you I that? I have to see for myself. 
Because supposedly yeah. she was like <clears throat> mystical, and I mean, I'm trying to see what that's like. Isn't it uh, like that I mean, one that's... lady, Matahari? Like she had such a mystique about her, but she was like ugly as hell. Yeah. Well, it's a little me, but yeah. I wanna experience that. I wanna see what it's like. I wanna see what was so mystical. Bro. About. Dog, uh, you'd probably oh, get I every see, disease you want to man. Abe Lincoln. <laughs> I'm gonna take his top hat off for you and give it to you. That's your dream. That's what you. That'd be pretty cool. You go to bed at night and thinking about that. I want Cleopatra. Dude, imagine. who did, who is she married to? Me. Me. When I go back, no, what you? King Tut? Question mark. No, she seduced <clears throat> um Caesar. I think. Yeah. Of the Which Roman one? Empire? Like the Senate. I don't know. And then, like the salad, so yeah, I'm gonna exactly. go back, and that's gonna be me. I'm gonna get to experience that firsthand. Oh, you're gonna get that in bro. <laughs> clip that, clip that. <clears throat> it's true. I mean, They're all I mean, severely inbred back then. That's why, if you look, have you seen the picture of King Tut? Like, they, what they actually think he looked like? He was like all crippled and stuff because he was yeah. so deformed from being inbred. I don't even know who I would vibe with. I'm trying to think. Hmm. Like, I'm genuinely trying to think. Uh, it definitely wouldn't be Cleopatra, and then it definitely wouldn't be the King of the South, aka Jonathan's idol. It would... All I said was he's Sigma because he killed five people, but in a uh... duel. You know how the duels worked back then, right? How? Uh... It's like we see in like the old like Wild West movies. Like there would be two witnesses. Like each guy would bring a witness. Yeah. They would have a gun with one bullet yeah. in it. They would take X yeah. amount of steps, and the pe- the witnesses would turn around, right? Yeah. And then they would turn around and shoot. If both mm-hmm. people missed, it's like, okay, that's it, <laughs> right? Or you uh-huh. hit, like, you kill each other, or you kill one of them. And technically, mm-hmm. the witnesses were like, oh, something just strange happened. So, like, no one can know, but apparently, he, like... Quick scope, five people. At the same time, dude, so like five wrong. different duels. <clears throat> five different duels, bro. Why My would bad, you quick scope? I don't know everything about uh, Andrew Jackson. <laughs> uh, Josh just catches let's... up on his Andrew Jackson boy. Uh, relax. You act like this dude just threw like a grenade dog. This was like 16, 1700. No, I thought he got like. Jonathan lays on his stomach and swings his feet, writing <laughs> Andrew Jackson oh, fanfic. God. Oh my god, Andrew Jackson! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I don't sit in front of his bookshelf, but it's all just history books about Andrew Jackson. Actually, I don't read. <laughs> uh, I think I would do like, maybe like a cowboy from like the Old West. Dog, like you would Jesse die. James. They would, sort of, they would loot you like Fortnite? <laughs> no, we'd get along. <laughs> <laughs> they would knock me. <laughs> Uh, they would down you and start emoting. <clears throat> I don't know, dude. Imagine like Damn. going back to eighteen hundreds and like teaching them uh, about no jujitsu, or teaching them not to own slaves. Uh, yeah, or you could be like a professional fighter and dome everybody, just guillotine everybody. Like they wouldn't even uh, know what like, to do. I feel like they would kick our ass pretty hard, bro. Those guys would like really live in the forest. Yeah, not against me. You don't think you could, like, grapple against one of them and don't? Well, like, to be honest, I would not want to go back in time. It ha- knowing all the technology we have today, like... Dude, I wouldn't even be able to describe how a phone works. Yeah, but, like, it's a device. Like, what's a device? Like, it's a thing uh, that yeah. shows you stuff. Yeah, exactly. But you know what a screen is? I mean... It'd be so hard, dude. Yeah. And It'd even if so you can hard. bring a phone with you, you're not, it's not like you're going to have signal. You know yeah. what I do? And you can't charge it. If I can go back in time, I would I would go and look at the release dates for all of Drake's songs. And I'd write them down. And I'd write all the lyrics and, like, everything. And then every single time he was about to drop a song, like, one day before, I'd drop the exact same song. Mm-hmm. That way, it looked like he was copying me this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can sue him in the future. Yeah. And I take all of all of Drake's fame. <laughs> Dang, it's actually pretty smart. Or 
If you want to be you like, you can go back to the Beatles era. He like has worked on it for so long. He's like, how the hell is it the exact same? And he can't drop it because it's like <laughs> day after mine. It's like, uh, you just copy yeah. everything. So what's up with that, Drake? That's what I do. <laughs> okay. Not just Drake, everyone. But like, wouldn't he just? That's smart. Everyone. <laughs> yeah, I'd just start dropping Billie Eilish songs. Before she drops yeah, it, yeah, I could sabotage something. What were you saying about the Beatles? Is there a movie about what? that? What were you saying about the Beatles? Oh, I was saying like go back in time and take the Beatles because weren't they like the most influential like band ever? Not I will be. <laughs> yeah. No, there's a song. No, you there's will a be? song. There's a movie about that. About someone doing that with the Beatles. Oh yeah, it's called Is Yesterday. It? Yeah. Yeah, I watched but it. I think didn't Drake pass the Beatles? It's like the Beatles never existed. That's because Drake says is it one uh, song? I am more slaps in the Beatles, dog. Yeah. Oh yeah, he does so say that. That'll be me because I'll be I'll be Drake, essentially. My dad is like a big Beatles uh, fanboy, and I play yeah. that song to my dad. He's like, actually, <laughs> I was like, you got triggered by Drake's I was like, lyrics. I was like, Drake's a goat, Beatles mid. <laughs> I haven't listened to that. Dude, I can picture that pissing him off. What? I can picture that pissing your dad off so bad. Yeah. That's That's like, oh my, bro, that's like that with my guitar teacher. (laughs) He's like a big, like, he's like those guys where you say like, oh, I like, like, what type of music list? Like, oh, modern music? He's like, Yeah. That's like, maybe because I'm young and I don't like old music. Sorry. I don't mind Beatles music. It's just not my cup of tea. Not saying they're mm-hmm. not the goats of their genre, but I'm just saying. More genre. Like, how do you know? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I think they're like rock. Like, I hate genre. people. I hate people that, like, oh, Tupac and Bigger the Goats. It's like, name a Tupac song. Oh. Yeah, for real. Somebody. Exo to Life? Me. Dude, somebody asked me the other day, like, name the, the top five rappers of all time. <clears throat> so I was like, uh, Kanye, Jay Z, Biggie, Tupac, and Kendrick Dude, Lamar. Big your Tupac. And yeah, they're like name three, name a Tupac song, and I named it. I know, I know Tupac. Name two Tupac songs. <laughs> uh, All Eyes on Me, California Love. Can someone actually? So someone fact. That song actually goes hard. Someone fact check this dude. Yeah, it does. You're gonna have to censor me because this is the only song I really know from. Is like, cause I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. What song? <laughs> yeah. That song. Okay, so yeah. So. yeah. And then there's Biggie. He like sings like it was all a dream. You know oh, that yeah. song? Yeah. Biggie, 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 can't you oh, see? Yeah. Biggie's good. Okay. Gosh, both serious really question, good. guys. Serious question. Yeah, who, yeah. Who is your top five? I know you said yours, but Paulo, you probably just said Biggie and Tupac because you want to be trendy. Like, be genuine with the people. Who my is your top, top five? Mine's Drake, Drake, <laughs> Drake, 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 Drake. Oh my god! <laughs> Get this guy the hell out of here. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, no, for real? My top five, or like mm-hmm. what I think is like the best in history. Your top five rappers of all time. Okay, just like out of my taste. Uh, yeah, your, your taste only, not not of society. Ranked? Who? In like a ranking or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like one through five. <sighs> Kanye. Obviously. Okay. Kendrick. Okay. Valid. Kendrick Lamar. Uh, maybe a Jay Z. Jay Z is really gave good. Top five yesterday. Oh. Uh, no, but he was, he only said Tupac and Biggie because everyone's like supposed to say that. But no, nah, I'm saying like in history, but like this is my personal taste. Yeah, Kanye, Kendrick, Jay Z. Fourth, I don't know. I like ASAP Rocky a lot, or ASAP Ferg. Ooh, ASAP Ferg is good. Yeah, probably fourth is ASAP Ferg, and fifth right now is Key Glock, dude. Key Glock is so good. Never heard of him. He's so fire. <clears throat> He's the guy that sings that song that I told you guys to listen to. You never listened to? No big deal. Which one? Uh, uh, oh, you guys? Song? How about you guys? Uh, it was on Glaucoma. Can't shit no lame shit. Uh, no, I, no, I listened to it. it. Time. That's not by him. It's by Key It's Glock. fire? I don't know who you said. I t- 
Did you say I that? I totally said Key Lock. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Isn't that the guy you sent with the songs, like, like all these yellow cars? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember listening to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this song's different. Anyways, what are you guys? Um, <clears throat> saying you go? I have no idea. I like I like ski mask. <laughs> I hot. like ski mask and and okay, but not a rank. Ski mask and you? Ski mask. Okay, oh. it's fine. Just uh, just five rappers you really like. Uh, probably little baby for sure. Okay, yeah, yeah. I oh, little baby's pretty good. I like his flow. <clears throat> I did too. I like it's pretty fire. Kanye, I'm discovering more of his music now, actually. Yeah. My favorite Kanye song yeah. is Facts. Oh, Facts. Yeah, I just talked a lot of shit, but I just did the numbers. I love that line so much. I have no idea. Such a good song. Top three. Okay, so that's so drunken. What are yeah, yours? top three. <sighs> Number one, rapper. Oh. Gonna go probably Twenty One Savage, Keith and the Hunted. Like really, not Quadeca. Quadeca's not really a rapper anymore. All right, he's Fair not. <sighs> I don't know his genre. Like Literally, melodic. Yeah, like when he released melodic, one of his songs yeah. on Spotify, the the tag was I don't know the genre. So, but um, fair enough. Probably Twenty One Savage. Like I like his mm-hmm. music. I like J Cole a lot. J. Cole's probably up there. I've been in my J. Cole arc recently, aka this past two days. Um, Travis Scott, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forget about him. Love it. Not bad chat. <laughs> it's okay. Um, let's see. Probably ASAP Ferg. I do like ASAP Ferg. He's so good. Um, am I fifth? <laughs> Kendrick? Little Uzi. What? Oh, hold, yeah. on, hold on, hold on, Sorry, sorry. It would be Little Uzi number one, 21 yeah. Savage two, Travis three, Ferg four, and whoever I said for the fifth. There's a lot of good rappers, J. Cole. dude. I forgot about 21. 21, 21. 21, 21, 21. I think that's a good pod, guys. Uh, 35 minutes. Yeah, that was sorry. Solid. Sorry to listeners, the, it was pretty hectic at first, but we were having too many laughs and giggles yeah. off Zane's nah, horrendous beard. A more chill pod. <laughs> like, fine. It's hilarious as hell. Now I gotta right, go guys. to the gym. Yeah, but, uh, me too. Let's give a quick flex for the people. See you guys. You're not even in the thing, but it's fine. Love you. All right.